Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Joni Liu, founder of Extraordinary Sports Medicine and Concussion Answers, and also the best-selling author of Heal Your Concussion, How to Quickly and Effectively Get Back in the Game. And today, welcome, classy baby. <laughs> Hello. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about Serena Williams. She is totally unstoppable. And since 2002 and 2017, she has been voted number one or has proven to be number one in tennis in uh, at least eight times. So it's an incredible achievement to have. And so now she's heading into an, um, another impressive challenge in her life because she's going to be a new mom this year and that's why she's not on the tennis circuit this year so she just keeps moving on because she is unstoppable and I want to tell you um, you know all you have to do is look at um, her life story and you'd know that she wasn't always a so-called winner she didn't always have things look so easy and actually things aren't easy when you're a champion because she is always always working I mean look at these quotes she's had to learn to fight all my life got to learn to keep smiling if you smile things work out and she's been criticized I remember at one point a few years ago when she was being compared to um, some of her opponents, uh, the prettier, slimmer ones, you know, or considered to be prettier and slimmer. I mean, Serena is a strong woman inside and out, and that's what's important. Serena is a very strong person inside and out, and that's what happened. That's how it made it happen that she is as famous as she is today. She is as celebrated as she is today because one day, oh God, 15, more than 15 years ago, you know, she decided that things had to be different, things had to change, and so she changed from the inside out. She changed her attitude towards herself. And that's where anything starts, okay? Whether you think you've got bad luck or good luck, good fortune, you know, things are going your way. The reason why things are going your way is because of what you're thinking about. So this mental attitude is everything. So basically I'm saying that what Serena Williams has done is that she put first things first. And first things first is always about exploring yourself, really getting to know yourself, and understanding yourself. There's just no question about it. So whether we're talking about brain health or physical or other, you know, body health, it's always going to start in your mind. It's always going to start with your attitude. Because things are not accidental in life. Even when it looks like an accident, it's not an accident. If we're uh, still... Uh, displaying certain attitudes, certain things, um, certain bad habits, you know, things are going to catch up to us. So when I'm driving down the road, for example, and I'm going, you know, I like speed, I like to go fast, and I know I've taken chances at times, and then, um, but I consider myself safe. And when I come to a close call, I count my blessings. I say thank you to God for keeping me safe. But I am also very mindful that, well, that was pretty reckless behavior. I really, that was a warning to me that I shouldn't behave like that. So in the case of Serena Williams, I mean, you can't beat somebody like her because she doesn't beat herself. Okay, now let's take a look at some of these other things that she says. She says, I love who I am, and I encourage other people to love and embrace who they are, but it definitely wasn't easy. It took me a while. She definitely struggled in the beginning, but she got over herself, and she allowed her talent to take over, okay? Because she's not bashful at all. What's going to make me happy is going on the court and holding up trophies, singles and doubles. 
And I have a fabulous picture of her uh, winning Wimbledon last year and uh, holding that golden, that huge golden disc. I mean, I thought that was so awesome to watch her do that because she, and, you know, she was just so genuinely happy. It's, it never gets old with her. She just loves what she does, okay? And that is such a huge clue. You know, I'm so interested in following people and studying them, finding out what motivates them. And for every person, it's different because it's not really about winning. It's not really about winning at all. It's about doing your very best, doing what you are really good at and staying with it, you know, not getting discouraged when things get bad because that is a likelihood of happening. Because even for Serena, she doesn't win all the time. So being on top of your game doesn't mean that you're going to win all the time. That's just a fact. But there's always something to learn. Because even she says that luck has nothing to do with it because I have spent many, many hours, countless hours on the court working for my one moment in time, not knowing when it would come. So she doesn't predict these things. She doesn't take things for granted. Never. Yeah, Serena Williams does not take anything for granted. And so she just continues to work hard at what she's doing. And even as a mother, I'm sure that she's going to be fantastic at doing that too because for her, family comes first. And that's what matters most to her. So she says that um, she says that tennis is just a game. It's just a job, but it's not my life. That's what she says. So she has many important things uh, factored in. Okay, hi. <laughs> Here's my cat kitty. Can you see her? It's kind of bright out here. Okay. There she is. She's so sweet. But she's also sitting on my lap and moving around. <laughs> Okay, you. So, so that's the message that someone like Serena Williams has for people because it's very important to know that success isn't overnight. Success requires work, but more importantly, it requires work on the mind and right here because those two have to be connected. And how you feel and what you think are always going to influence how you're going to do in life. If you're, if you're a generally pessimistic person, look at the results that you have. Are you having a great life? More than likely, no. Or you're having success in one area, but, but the rest of your life is a mess, okay? <laughs> because that happens a lot to a lot of people as well. I mean, I'm not saying that life is perfect all the time. There's always going to be challenges. But a strong person like Serena Williams is always going to pick herself up and she's going to dust herself off, and she's going to continue on. We never give up when we really feel very strongly about something. So tennis has given her the life of her dreams. And whenever somebody is that successful, and you know she admits that she's a really happy person, I mean, geez, you know, there's I got another thing here that she says, which is really intriguing. She says. Um, Serena Williams says, I'm really exciting, I smile a lot, I win a lot, and I'm really sexy. This is what Serena Williams says about herself. She is amazing. She's not afraid to be herself and to like herself. And that's what really makes her a champion and somebody who should be followed and mimicked. But the thing is, is that you got to mimic how she thinks and how she feels because it's very genuine okay because you know I yeah she was criticized for not looking more like a girl well she's a strong woman that's that's how I see her and I admire her because she's not ashamed of having a, a wonderful physique I mean she's muscular she's so fit she's beautiful as far as I'm concerned the thing is, is that for her body type, it's not possible for everybody to have that because each one of us is different, but 
each one of us can do the same thing, okay? But in that case, it really comes down to really accepting ourselves and going after the things that we really want to do, okay? Those are the lessons that she can make. Yeah, if people are content with who they are, why are they critical of everyone's opinion? Ah, <laughs> well, they shouldn't, they wouldn't be because they wouldn't care about what you're thinking about, okay, about what somebody else is thinking. That's the whole point. If you really love yourself, you don't care what anybody else is thinking. And that's exactly what Serena Williams was doing when everybody was comparing her to, you know, more feminine looking girls uh, who are playing tennis. Yeah, and you know who they are. And, you know, to me, she, she, this is who she is. She's a big, strong, muscular girl, okay? She's a woman. She's not just a girl. She's a woman. And she thinks like one. So that's what true maturity is, is accepting who we are. We don't care what anybody else says. Because she's got another interesting quote here on my computer. Oh, yeah. If you can keep playing tennis when somebody is shooting a gun down the street, that's concentration. Wow. Because there's another lesson there. If you don't care what's going on outside in the world, if it doesn't have anything to do with you personally, if it doesn't affect you personally, it's none of your business. Okay? Well, she's fantastic. I really admire her because she says it like it is. And she's not afraid to give her opinion. And she does. I mean, she answers her critics. And that's fine. Okay, so I'm Dr. Joni Liu. I'm founder of Concussion Answers, where we help athletes to, um, to recover from their injuries, to get back in the game faster, and to affect and also to improve their lives. And if you and somebody you know is suffering from PCS or concussions right now, please send them over to Amazon and pick up my best-selling book, Heal Your Concussion, How to Quickly and Effectively Get Back in the Game. So, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.